Yo, what is up guys? It's Josh back with another video and today I have another DaVinci tutorial for you guys and I don't know if you guys can guess what it is, but it is how to edit like Flea or Milliam in DaVinci Resolve. I actually uploaded a look at me montage. I don't know if you want to check that out. Link in the description um, and I'll kind of be showing how to do that. So uh, yeah, I'm just in DaVinci right now. So I'm going to go like this. Milliam Flea editing tutorial or something like that. So to do this, all you're going to do uh, make sure you just do DaVinci Resolve. And by the way, like, subscribe, comment, give some feedback down below. Uh, but here we go, 60 FPS, whatever. You guys know how to do this already. Uh, I'm going to put the video monitoring down to 720p 60. So it doesn't, like, lag as much. So, yeah, make sure you're using optimized media. Mess around with those settings. All right, guys, so we need a song. By the way, also to do all the downloads that I've linked in the description, I'll have a few sound effects as well as um, a effect that I missed in my last montage, but we're not going to have too many uh, downloads because all you're really going to need to do is just get these clips yourself and all that. So I'm going to use a song. It's called I Love Thoughts by 404 Vincent. I don't know if you've heard it in Flea's uh, TeamRumble.exe montage. So, I'm just going to cut it down to right here. So, it just sounds like this. So, right here, we already know we have a ton of potential for a cinematic right here. So, we'll have a clip right here. And then... Like, this could be a spin cinematic, which we might do. So, this could be like one, two, into the shot. So, to do this, all we're going to want to do is I have this in a folder in my Fortnite thing down here, 7K montage. I have the clips and cinematics. So, the first clip right here. And then cinematic to do this all you're really gonna want to do is just get your clip and then all you really have to do to uh, get the cinematic it's pretty easy you just have to get the replay f the, just going to the replay for that specific one and then however cinematic you want to do there's other tutorials how to do replays I might upload another one how to get cinematic specifically so here's the beat right here. We're gonna do when we hit the siphon, and then we're gonna cut the clip where we want to have the cinematic start. So right there is about good, um, and then we're just gonna drag this out like that. So this is what it looks like so far without the cinematic. We're also gonna make sure that we have our proxy mode set to quarter resolution. So as you can see, it's already kind of synced right now. I'm going to shorten this a bit. Uh, you don't really need to make it perfect. It's a tutorial, so I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, but. So that sounds a lot better. Uh, we only need to have right there. Should be good. So we're going to have our cinematic start right about, we're going to shorten it at the beginning. So we want our cinematic to start right here where I said it would be good for cinematic. So we're going to just drag it to the end of that um, and then zoom out uh, just like this. So then we have this. Playback's a bit laggy, but... Boom, boom. Yeah, that should be good. We might make it a tiny bit shorter. Okay, so for this one, uh, we're just going to get our cinematic, which I already have right here. It's pretty long, though, so I have to cut it down to the actual part that I want. You guys can see how long it is. But uh, the part that it starts is right about... Here, you can see that I literally just get the thing in position. Go like this. Go to where I actually need the frame. 
So right here, and I literally just do a full 360 around the thing. Go back, so we're gonna stop it right there. Cut this out. So, we're gonna get rid of the cinematic audio because we obviously don't need any. You can see that this is definitely a lot bigger than our thing, right? So we're gonna need, like this is how fast my cinematic is moving. So we're gonna wanna go into our retime controls. And this is gonna be super laggy, so I'm not gonna try to do the playback while editing. I'll just do it, show you guys how to do it, and then I'll show it in a render. So anywhere in the, the clip, you wanna add a speed point. And to move these speed points around, you can just go like this at the bottom just to move their placement. Or if you wanna make them faster, you can grab the top of it and just shrink it down. So as you can see, the speed set to like 1000. You're gonna wanna set the speed to like, 5,000, or not 5,000, but something like that. So we're gonna go like this, make it a lot shorter. So, uh, we have it set to 16,000, which is way too fast. As you guys can see, we're gonna make it shorter and move it. So we want it to go fast, slow, so we want it to slow down right here so we're going to drag it out a bit make it slower boom and then we're going to want to have it slow down but still not go so we're going to add another speed point right here we don't want it to go too slow so we're also going to make it like pretty fast percentage wise but we're not going to make it that fast if you know what i mean so uh for this one like half speed so around three thousand ish we're gonna drag it in so then right here you guys can see just to adjust the end You just want to drag it down. So, we actually are at 1,000%. Um, and then... Yeah, so it's pretty even on either side, you guys can see. We want to have the slow point right here. And we're gonna have it right there. So perfect. That should be. Yeah, that looks fire. So it's pretty laggy right now, but you guys can see he goes. Uh, mm, he goes me. So we're gonna have it slow, and then boom. So that's that. Uh, which is kind of fire. We got the first clip technically. So if you've uh, made it this far in the tutorial, good on you. Might want to have it reset back. So we're, we're probably just going to make it a bit faster. So we're going to open up our retime controls again. Make it slightly faster. Drag it. Uh... There we go. So uh the only thing we want to do now is you notice that flea does kind of like a slowdown after his cinematics so to do this it's actually called time ramping uh but we're obviously going to do a ramp in the opposite direction so to do this you're just going to want to go about go into your retime controls and turn around doesn't really matter you make sure you're in your first frame go like two frames uh, add a speed point, two frames, speed point, two frames, speed point, two frames, speed point, two frames, speed point. So it's kind of like this. Uh, we're going to start at 100% and it's going to work its way down to 50. So we're going to do the first one. We'll drag it out to around. We'll make sure that we have this unlinked just so we don't mess it up. 
We're gonna make sure that we set this to 50. And we're gonna drag it to the max. So, right here. Drag it out to 67. Um, it's not wanting to go out that far, so. Just to do this, we're gonna have it slowly ramp down. All right, guys, so pretty much something you notice Flea does is he does like a bit of a slow-mo after the clip. So just to do that, it's called time ramping. We're not going to do too much of time ramping, but we're just going to go like two frames from the beginning frame at a speed point and then another two. And we're just going to go like this. We're going to make sure our clips are unlinked uh, just to do this. You want to drag it out to make it 67 or something. So it goes 100 to 67%. Um, and then the remainder we do 50%. So that way it just looks like this show it to you guys you see so it does it cinematic so then we're just gonna cut it right here just because we don't need the rest of the clip so uh something flea also does is he does a bit of a glow after so if you wanted to you can just go into your fusion make sure you're on the first frame Go to where the shot hits, so for me it's like two frames in, you want to make sure you're on that frame, look up glow, press add, control space to bring up that select tool by the way, uh, keyframe the blend, bring it up, and then go one, two, three, or two, whatever the beginning frame was, bring it down to zero, and then you can like put the glow to end on the last frame, so you know, you got a bit of a glow effect right there. Like that and then for the cinematic we're just gonna um find our points real quick so we're gonna go read some controls find our point right here and then we see our second point goes there so we're gonna put a marker here not on the clip we're gonna put it on the timeline put a marker around here and then what we want to do is i have an editing pack that i can't link for copyright reasons but i'm might take a few individual whooshes out. Um, this one is kind of good. That one's kind of good. That one's not that good. I don't like that one. That one's too long. We're going to use this one. If you guys don't know what a whoosh is, you probably live been living under a rock. Literally everyone uses it in montages and highlights videos for cinematics. So we're gonna want to do it like that. We're gonna boost the audio real quick. So it goes like this. Swoosh. And then we're also gonna toss the same one down again. But on the second one. So we lined it up with a bow. Hmm. A few, and so it's gonna be like, and then if we want to, just because we could also use, sorry, I just hit my mic, um, like a shotgun sound. So for me, I used a spaz in this, so I'm just gonna drag a shot, spaz shot, and then see the frame where the shot hits right here, bring it down, bring it down. Bring it down, fuck. Um, and then we're just gonna line it up like this. I'm gonna turn off magnet tool real quick so I can line it up. Boom. There. You see that? If you really wanted to, make it seem a lot more seamless because it goes from like that to that. It's kind of noticeable. You can do a. Uh, What's it called? Uh, transition. So if you guys don't know how to do the one that I did, I'm going to show you a basic one. Mr. Alex Tech Transitions. Just get zoomed through or something. Put it in between a little seamlessly. Do like a short, fast little transition between them. And a bit smaller. See how trans seamless that is? 
But yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. I'm probably gonna render this out. It'll look a lot cleaner when you guys see the actual preview. I'll put it at the beginning. Uh, but also the last step along this way. Uh, to make things look a lot cleaner, especially your cinematics. If you're using cinematics in your montage, just put an adjustment clip just over top of it. You can adjust it about halfway over each clip. Uh, you just want to have it so there's enough room on either side. Go about s five keyframes to the left. Make sure you're on the one in between. You want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven would be good. Make sure you're on the inspector for the adjustment clip itself. Go down to cropping. And keyframe top and bottom right and then go to one two three four five six seven and then keyframe it again but put your thing to 25 or yeah 100 is normally good on either but if you're on 720p it's um so you can see the black bars Come in like that and then same thing on the side make sure you're on the keyframe in between and then just go one two three four five you want to probably gonna go three on the other side because you have to have it cleaner so it's like right. tell me that's not clean come on so it's like that boom black bars come up for your cinematic then go away for the end of it uh, something else you could also do for this itself is go into the fusion and it's a little trick that makes it a lot smoother I guess you could say uh, make sure you're not in the adjustment clip make sure you're on the cinematic itself and then you just want to put a transform into it like this and then just set the angle to like three or something make sure this is on mirror because it'll make It'll make it seem a lot cleaner. You could also add RSMB, which looks like this. It makes everything look a lot like motion blur, you know? It'll make it seem a lot smoother. But you don't have to. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, learn something from the video, make sure to drop a sub, subscribe. Uh, I had this requested a lot of times. I'm going to point out five things I don't want to see in the comments. I'm joking, not five things, but... I don't want anyone commenting on how many times I said, um, and, eh, or I don't even know, but I got roasted a lot because I say, uh, a lot because that's just how I think, I guess. I just think out loud when I'm not really knowing what I should do, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, subscribe, like, comment, give me some feedback down below. Could we hit, let's see, 300 likes on this video? That would be amazing. Uh, your guys' support is insane. We just hit... 6.8k at the time of recording this video we just hit it today which is nuts i just want to say thank you to all of you guys and if these videos help you out make sure to share them to your friends uh that you know that could use this video but uh, yeah i'm gonna go render this out and get it ready for you guys to preview and yeah hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys later peace out